Hey guys, Alex here. It's another beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day here in the west end of Toronto. I just got out of the Line 2 Runny Mead subway station. And I'm here at Blue West Village where they're having Blue West Fest, which has returned after a pandemic hiatus. And we're here in the area where a lot of Eastern Europeans, especially Ukrainians, came to uh, uh, settle. They're actually one of the first... Uh, uh, settlers to uh, arrive in this part of town. I was over at uh, Bloor West, no, Big on Bloor by uh, Dufford and Lansdowne. And I have a feeling I am hearing the same performers that were at Taste of Lawrence last weekend. I, I think I recognize the lady's voice and the tune that they were playing. Like, let me, get, let me come up closer and see. Because it honestly sounds so familiar. It's the same people! It's the same people! They were playing this exact same tune over a Taste of Lawrence last weekend. I told you! I told you! Ha! We meet again! We meet again! Yeah, grab a thumbnail here. I can't believe it's the same people! Kind of energetic. That's kind of why I'm staying around here for a bit. It's the same energy. It's the same thing. I'm just, I saw last weekend. Oh, mind boggling is that. Anyway, let's walk on. I was walking around. I was. I did a walking video here, also very recently. I think it was. Uh, was it uh, July fifth? And I walked through here. It was in the other direction because I was walking from uh, Jane Street. Not a lot of uh, people here compared to a uh, big on Bloor. I bet you Johnny's here. Since he's been going to the uh, the many street festivals, but also I saw some pictures that there's a classic car show on, so I'm gonna look for that. 
for you old car lovers. I wonder. I know it's like after 6, 6.30. I don't even know the time, but uh, hopefully it's still here. This is a one day only event, so. What the hell is this? I definitely remember passing through here. Agua fresca, roasted sweet corn. All the stuff smells good, but I'm not really gonna try anything. As uh, I still have dinner to eat anyway from home. I see a lot of jasmine just since uh, forming around uh, around here. What is that noise? Hey, here's Windermere Avenue. This goes all the way down to uh, the Queensway. Is that a, what is he holding? I'll walk this all the way to Jane and I can see if I'll find the uh, the uh, car the car show. Right. It's probably one now of the uh, the parking lots. Just uh, above the subway. Oh, this is a good thumbnail here with the ultra wide lens. The benefits of having, well, the benefits of filming videos with the iPhone 13. I already filmed a video with, oh, it's 614, all right. I think I'm gonna stay here until seven because I want to catch the uh, 935 Jane Express. That's the last departure. Swan Sea, that's the area to the south of here. Pretty affluent. Also, fun fact, Bloorworth Village, the BIA, is the first uh, business improvement area in the city. One of the oldest in Canada. Oh, look. It's those same spinning strawberry things that I saw at Taste of Lawrence and other festivals, too. Very common thing. I knew that would be here. However, these rides are outdated or not really like maintained because you know you can really just uh, uh, you put them together and then you can like dismantle them. Look, already we're at Chain Street. Well, that's just where we're down. I'm trying to walk slow here. Oh, Berry Go Run, that's the name of it. All right. Just wanted to take a breather as I sanitize my hands right here. Fire and Flower. Think of the Fire Flower from Super Mario. Oh, that's it? That's the festival? Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to, uh, <laughs> since this is all, that's all there is, I'm just going to walk back. And then I'll see if I can find the car show, well, if it's still here or not. This goes up all the way to 10, so, uh, look at that. Very happy police officer doing his duty. There's Armadale Avenue, and, uh, I think, yeah, there's Jane Subway Station. I'm going to be heading there in about less than an hour to catch the, uh, the bus.
All right, I'm gonna walk back. I don't really like go in loops, but I didn't realize it would be so short. I'm just gonna walk back in case I miss anything and maybe you guys are gonna point out, oh, Alex, you missed this and we'll miss that. And I'm trying to like put more historical context on walking through like neighborhoods and areas like this. Cause I feel like my, my historical knowledge of some, well, not all, but like some neighborhoods that are not too good. So I'm like doing research and trying to like think like, you know, what's inside my brain and stuff. You know the feeling? Yours truly, Alex gets around to you doing his thing. Yes. And y'all are gonna be on YouTube. We're gonna be having a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of cleanup to do after uh, the event finishes at Ten Wonder. If uh, wonder if they're be like, okay, it's time to go, time to go, or they're just gonna die down after ten because not all the time it's exact. Very perfect weather to be having this this festival. It's gonna rain all week, so some chitty weather coming to our, coming our way to the GTA. Oh crap! What am I missing out here? Let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna turn the music off. Seeing so out a better view. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we start the show now. This time, two flaming torches, one hand. It looks a bit like this. Now, wait for it, guys. Get better. Wait for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, here we go with three, three flaming torches. Now this is the basic three torch juggle. I know it's not much, but it's more than you can do. <laughs> Let's make it a little harder with some tricks. Double spins, triple spin, oh, under the leg, under the other leg, behind the back. Oh, oh. folks, I am not very good at behind the back. <laughs> But sometimes I can do two in a row behind the back. If you guys want, I will give it a shot for you. Okay, now this may not work. Sometimes when I try this trick, the torches do go flying behind me. If that happens, that's normal, don't worry. But if I do catch both of the torches, everybody clap and cheer really loud. Here we go, two torches behind the back. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They're using those kids as a shield. I'm kidding. I do the trick over here. This is a tough trick, folks. It works. I wish we were out of two. Oh, now, yeah. now wait for it, folks. This is a difficult trick. I get three attempts to do the trick. So here we go. This is attempt number one. Oh, yeah! Close enough. <laughs> now, one final juggling trick. It's called the flourish. It's my very favorite juggling trick. And it looks like this. All right, I'm gonna leave these over here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the show, I fit my body through the flaming tennis racket. But first, first I'm gonna show you guys 
some bullet cracking tricks. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, my name, oops, <laughs> my name is Twisted Up, and I come all the way from Toronto. <laughs> Guys, I travel all over the world performing my show. It's not every day I get to come out and do a show for a hometown crowd. I'm really happy to be here tonight at Bloor West Village Street Fest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being an amazing audience. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't realize about me personally is that I do actually have a university education. I went to the University of Toronto. I graduated with a degree in astrophysics and mathematics. And I just want that to be a lesson to all the kids here in the audience today. Kids, if you study really hard and you stay in school, then one day you two can have all of this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've chosen not to use my degree in the traditional way. I've chosen instead to travel the world, perform for beautiful audiences like you guys here tonight, because this is what I love to do. And I believe that people should do what they love. If you agree with me, folks, Come show your support afterwards. I'm gonna be passing my hat after the show's over. And ladies and gentlemen, if you throw five or ten dollars into my hat, I will go home happy. If you put twenty dollars in my hat, I will go home very happy. And if you put fifty dollars in my hat, I will go home with you. <laughs> and with that, I think we're ready for the big finale. Are you guys ready? Okay. Just need to put on some scary music to set the mood for the trick. So, here we go. found the classic car show but uh, because I'm late I probably missed out on uh, <laughs> some of the action but uh, what do we got here if you guys watch uh, ultimate falls channel he does he basically goes to pretty much almost all of the uh, car shows in the greater Montreal area in uh, Quebec so there's a lot of videos on uh, his channel if you guys want to see uh, a lot of classic cars but uh, we don't get a lot of them here in the city, but we have a Thunderbird here. Yeah, I assume there are a lot of cars here and then uh, they all left before I came. 
Yeah, Mustang and then a Corvette. Yeah, only three cars still here. The rest of them, gone. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get going. I wanna catch the uh, the last 9.35 bus. It's almost seven. I know it wasn't here too long, but uh, I mean, actually I was, but uh, I mean, I haven't had dinner yet and uh, it's waiting for me at home. So I'm gonna walk to uh, Jane subway station and uh, wrap up the video. I feel like Toronto should have uh, a lot more classic car shows. Apparently, I mean, Elton gets to uh, go to all of them in Montreal. Even old cars interest me. Not as much as uh, him, though. All right. I'm going to catch... The 935, take it to Eglinton, and then I'll go across from there. Here's Armadale Avenue. I'm going to walk all the way to Jane. It's just like the next block. I think I got some time. Oh, oh yeah, some sometimes uh, locals refer this to uh, this area to as a little Ukraine because of the uh, the uh, Ukrainian settlers that immigrated here and opened up their businesses. Jane is one of a few subway stations that the bus and uh, subway platforms are, are not within the same fare paid zone. So you gotta use a, a transfer. But for me, I gotta I think I gotta pay because it's been like almost two hours or we'll see. We'll see about that. And also just west of here is the Etobicoke Borough bordered by the Humber River. Actually, I think we're in York. Or I think York is on the other side of Jane. Either way, we're on the borders of uh, York and Old Toronto. Of course, the boundaries is like really very, look. There's the entrance there. And I just wanna go to Jane Street. Very nice evening out. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I mean, I have I'm I'm busy in the morning, but hey, look, there's the OG Orion from 2007, the 55 roots. Yeah, I did a walking video down here uh, almost two weeks ago. And now I'm gonna wait. For 935. I've only been to this station once or twice. Look, there it is right there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of I'm not sure what which one I find entertaining, but uh maybe you can let me know. <laughs> But uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. Check out my others as well. And uh, see you guys all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.